We're starting this day off with a nice walk. Getting Coco out of the house, which isn't very normal for us. We don't usually get her out until later in the evening, but she hasn't been sleeping very well, so we're going to give this a try. We have a few plans for today. Be sure to stick around in order to see what we managed to come up with today. We're back to warm weather again for the morning, and then this afternoon we're back to uh, thunder showers. And we've been having some pretty crazy storms, including funnel clouds forming and things like that so it has been a pretty wild summer so far extreme heat and then it's actually been really cold and then a crazy amount of storms I actually had to bring my really really fluffy blanket down yesterday because of how cold I was yeah our house is nice and cool this morning we have to try and retain that because we have a couple of warm days coming up we are also going to try and do some prep to get ready for going camping we've just been picking away at it a little bit every day we got the fridge all cleaned out yesterday. Today we have to figure out what the next step is. I've started making a list, yeah, checking it twice. Cleaning up in there, figuring out what we need, what we don't need. Exactly. things together to get ready to go out of the house for a little bit. I've decided to take the kids out. I have a package that I need to drop off at a mailbox, which I've been intending to do for days and I haven't got done. Plus we're going to go to the dollar store because there is a dollar store here that has a bunch of different comic books in it and Caden is hoping to try and find a few that he doesn't already have. I'm wondering if we should buy a library membership here so that he can just go on down to the library whenever he pleases. I think that might be a good idea. Got my ballerina who wants to wear her ballet slippers out of the house. But we're opting for running shoes. Still can't get her into sandals. Look at that. You put your right, you put your foot in it so that they pants too. Wow. We made it to Dollarama. No. The only way they can get something is if they buy something to do. So many things. Tiggy hasn't been to a store in a while. Other than the convenience store. There is a lot of stuff here from Canada Day. They have all sorts of hats and banners. And they have a pretty cute shirt. Hashtag Canadian vibes. Whoa, these are so cool. What did you find? That looks like it fit me. A little canoe with paddles. All right, I'm loving this tablecloth. I'm gonna grab this for our camping trip next week because the one we have has a few melty spots in it. Fly swatters. We've got flies in the house right now. The slinkies look fun, but we have tangled ones at home. True. Addie wants a package of dinosaurs. Why do you want dinosaurs? Let's think about it. You want them for playing horses? I think, yeah. But they're dinos. Yeah, they can be the, the young ones. Tiggy needs a sketchbook and I'm trying to decide which one to get here. There's actually quite a few different ones to choose from. Hmm. And she's on to pencil, super glittery pencil cases. We're in Michael's getting ideas of things to do. So we came across a few. We could do paint pouring because we have lots of paint and we can do hydro dipping. Just picked up a ginormous jug of glue so that we can make slime. So are you going to draw comics? <laughs> Michael's was a success glue and oil paint, make oil pastel. Get... We couldn't go out and have fun without stopping by and getting some big cookies. So all three kids chose chocolate chip and I chose a peanut butter. So I'm sharing with Clancy because it helps me to not eat too much. <laughs> but we also need lunch. It's almost two o'clock and we haven't had lunch yet. So this was Addie's choice from the dollar store. We have a hatching dino egg. Okay. It, and it goes. It, it, Is it going to overflow? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's floating. <laughs> um, in the package it says it's oh, 
It's going. It's going. Look at Oh, that's cool. Now, Nick. It looks goes. even bigger. You see how big Ooh. it looks? <laughs> and now it's filling up with water, Addy. Backyard's getting taken over by weeds. So Mr. Cato Boy and I are trying to clean out the edging here. We took out the edge that keeps the grass out and we would like the grass to come right in. We probably need to buy some grass seed and do it, deal with it that way. But for right now, there are a lot of things growing. This vine here, while it's great and it provides a lot of privacy and stuff, it also grows all the way out here. It was all the way across here and it keeps trying to grow back in. looking so much better. I've never had a ballerina help me in the garden before. So that one's all done. That one's a new one. And this one's all done. Tiggy actually has some beans growing on her plant. <laughs> and then this one is mostly done. It needs a little bit of a touch up. And then this back here, like I said, this vine is just growing like crazy. This is where the real problem lies. All of these ones that grow in between the paving pads here are just a disaster and we need to figure out something to do with them. You can't get to the hose to turn it on because of all these plants. Okay, that was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I'm so thankful that the kids helped me out and, I don't know, in the camera it's not looking so much better so I'll have to go a little bit closer to show you that it actually does look better. So this is where it was all growing up through the paving tiles. Paving tiles are not a good solution because everything just grows through them. So a sidewalk is definitely the way to go. So we went all the way through. Now it obviously needs like a pressure wash or something because it's pretty messy. And then Tiggy and Kato finished off out here for me. But still, it still looks so messy even though all the weeds are gone. Apparently we're curb stomping this table. I feel like you have uh, some, some emotion to take out here, man. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. I Woo! Understand. I'm in the house yelling my brains out. Addison, Addison, and she is out here just so sweetly, peacefully doing chalk. While I was working outside, weeding and everything, I heard a delivery truck come and I was wondering if it was for us and it was. I ordered this just the other night. You'll see it in the last vlog, I believe. And I saw one of these lamps in someone else's vlog and I thought, that's exactly what I've been looking for. So I started searching for it and Costco happened to have one, costco.ca. And so I ordered it really quick along with our upright freezer, which is not here yet. It won't come for another week or so, but this came like almost next day delivery type idea. Here it is. It has three lamps on it and it has a tall stand. It's really cute. I love it and I'm really excited. With the huge thing of glue that we bought this afternoon when we went out, the girls figured that they needed to make slime. Clancy had it out for a bit this evening, so it is just Caden, Tiggy, Addie, and I. And I figure, why not? It's starting to thunder outside. You can see that storm starting to roll in. It's a lot later than it was supposed to be, but at least we got a bunch of outside time today. So it's totally okay to spend some time inside doing something fun. Hopefully this one is a lot more successful than the one that we made the other day. So far it's looking pretty good. It is so much cooler in here tonight. We finally got our storm. Thunder, rain, you name it, blowing against the side of the house. I never did get my lamp put together. I may have overdone the weeding and whatnot with my thumb. It is not feeling great tonight, so took some pain meds to help with that and then just tried to keep it still. Thanks so much for watching our vlog. We'll see you soon. Yeah.